longer? Yes, certainly. The Middle East, despite current events, is also moving towards shared electricity. An interconnection study that uh, has been performed recently and the decision has been taken to go ahead with the interconnections. It's the uh, Gulf states, the Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Bahrain, and uh, uh, Oman. Uh, all these countries operate at uh, 50 hertz, except for Saudi Arabia, which is operating at 60 hertz. So uh, there's a need for a DC a link there to make these systems operate together without being synchronous. And two decades ago, the United Nations Natural Resources Council encouraged linking South American hydropower to North America to displace current fossil fuel usage. Very interesting project could be the uh, ship of power from uh, the uh, northwest of uh, South America uh, into Mexico through uh, Central America and once you are in Mexico of course you you, you can reach US uh, very easily. Uh. In uh, Central America where you have uh, a substantial amount of uh, hydro uh, electricity available there and uh, if you had uh, a multi-terminal system traveling through these countries with uh, a certain number of, of taps connected to that line, then the, uh, the, the great advantage of, of such technology is that you can use the tap as, as a source for the DC line, so you can connect the, hydro, the local hydro generation from that country to the DC line and go and sell that electricity to another country which can pay for it, so therefore generate revenue for, for the uh, Latin American country. I think that if Latin America has the possibility to contribute in, to the world in the environmental point of view, generating no polluting source of energy, and if we have the financial resources, it can be a good possibility to export electricity to the rest of the North American country. And if we can move that power through these nations and have tap-offs from them, I think we're going to really increase peace in the area, stability, and increase their standard of living. It's, it's what we spoke of at first. What a wonderful example. The key question answered by the conference was, can it be done? What is the current state of the technology? The technology required to achieve uh, these concepts is available. Uh, it is a question of whether these long distance transmissions are uh, economically feasible competing with other alternatives. And in some of the cases uh, the long distance transmission from cheap generation resources are the ones that are winning. I can assure you that technology is there and it is uh, available and it can be made reliable if it is designed properly. There is no limit, you just put the number of lines it, it takes and uh, if, if there are economic benefits it can be done. Distances of 7,000 kilometers would be, would be feasible, not only that uh, physically it was uh, 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 feasible, but that economically it was very competitive with local generation that you could have in, uh, in Europe. It is well known that both in Soviet Union and in Africa we are talking about uh, transmission distances exceeding 4,000 kilometers and this is not a technical limit. Based on the corroboration and consensus of these international experts, Genie is calling attention to this credible and most promising solution to many of our world's problems. We seek funding and your participation to further this research on all continents and to educate people around the world to these findings. In 1969, R. Buckminster Fuller proposed linking the regional power networks into a continuous global electrical energy grid. 
This was his number one priority to resolve the world's most pressing issues. While a total global grid is still a vision in the future, today's technology makes expanded regional interconnections practicable and desirable. Uh, energy can be the uh, means by which um, we achieve not just the highest standard of economic uh, you know, living and, and prosperity, but also a higher quality of life for everyone. I mean, it, it, it won't happen quickly. The problems, and particularly population in the third world, is, is a great burden. These difficulties and risk could be balanced by the positive aspect of a project. And these are stability and distribution of wealth through the success of a project. It will help community stability. It will help stabilize or reduce population growth, which is a major issue on environment, on, on resources. But uh, if anything can impact it the most, I think uh, electrical energy is one of the main contributors. And in that, I think Buckminster Fuller was absolutely right uh, I differ with him on the details, of, but, but basically the idea that, that um, uh, to increase the access to electrical energy would be one of the greatest boons to mankind, I think it's absolutely fundamental. Genie is a not-for-profit corporation conducting education and research on connecting international and interregional electric energy networks. Your participation and financial support is necessary to fulfill this objective.